there's somebody else in jail that people are wondering, like, well, if you're helping all these other people out, why are you not helping this guy out, right? And um, it's clearly casting over two times. Now, if you guys don't know, casting over two times is in jail for uh, attempted murder um, and a gang of conspiracy charges, okay? They, they are accusing him of being in, in a gang from New York, something, the Gorilla Apes or something like that. You know what I mean? That sounds like an NFT, but apparently it's a gang, right? He got charged. He's been sitting in jail ever since. So people started seeing that first story, right, with the guy with the leftover chicken. They're like, damn, if Jay is trying to get this guy out, why Jay ain't doing nothing to get Casanova out? You know what I mean? I thought they were cool. Like, Jay-Z ran Rock Nation or runs Rock Nation, right, or he owns it, and Casanova was signed to Rock Nation in a full record deal. Now, Casanova put out, put out this message, and he said, stop asking me what jay Z's doing for me. He did enough already. He gave me a shot, okay? Now, Let's be clear. Uh, even though Cass is saying, stop asking me what Jay Z is doing for me, I, I love Cass. But I think this is a cry for help, man. I, th I, th I think Cass is like, yo, damn. Start asking what Jay Z is doing for me. And honestly, you know, I think, I think Casanova understands that he's in the position he's at because of him. But he definitely thinks he's getting a, a, a bad end of the deal. Or he don't think it's a it's a fair bargain, right? And would he like for Jay to help him? Of course. Now, the thing is why I think he's not going to say, yo, Jay, damn, help me. Yo, when meeting with Cass, Cass was well aware, very well aware that Rock Nation pretty much had him on like a last strike type of situation where it's like, bro, you get into shit, we ain't got nothing to do with you. Now the feds are knocking, they don't want to have nothing to do with what he got going on. You get me? Now, if you ever wondered the answer to the question, and this is what it made me think about, right? Because there's so many people like, yo, damn. Yeah, Jay should help this guy. If the question ever came up in your mind, remember this whole thing that was popping on Twitter? It said, would you rather dinner with Jay-Z or half a million dollars? You see this picture right here? It's from the Rock Nation brunch. See this nigga right here in the corner? Casting over two times. See this nigga right here? Jay-Z. Did he? My, um, um, Kevin Hart. And I think these are some executive dudes. I, don't, I forgot their name. We got Khaled here. These are a bunch of really important. I think I know one of these guys in the back. Really a lot of people. You see Meek Mill like back here. All the important people in the world are at this thing. Right? So you know what dinner with Jay-Z or a brunch with Jay-Z gets you? I'm not saying jail. But absolutely nothing, nigga. <laughs> That's the point. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, not only doesn't get you nothing, shit, if you need help after the dinner, you ain't getting it, nigga, that's it, that's the point, you get what I mean, if I, listen, I don't know why Twitter thinks that Jay-Z was gonna give some, like, you know, he's giving out this fucking uh, um, library of knowledge, you know what I mean, ask everybody who went to the brunch, did they learn shit? Or was it worth a, a 500K? No. Jay-Z's a regular human being, man. And again, if if, if you ask anybody, um, going to this brunch, I don't even think they still do it. Do it? Do they still do this shit? You probably got canceled for, for COVID this year. Is this Usher? With the braids? This ain't Usher. Regardless, man, this, this couldn't be bigger proof that if you were ever stuck in between deciding between Jay-Z, dinner with Jay-Z, or 500000 look at Casanova, who had drinks with Jay-Z, brunch with Jay-Z, and all I'm saying is that I don't think Jay-Z would do that nigga a favor right now, okay? So put that into perspective. Anyway, Cass, hold your head, man. Um, Hopefully things start looking up for you. Uh, you know, again, I always tell my experiences with him. He was definitely a beacon of positivity, a good guy when I met him. And once you get to, you know, understand him, 
you know, I, I, the, the thing with Cass is like he looks so fucking big and like like he looks like he's up to no good, like which probably didn't help him like in the streets because he looks like he's up to no good. Like if somebody told you that Cass did something to you, if the police came, the police would just lock him up. Like fuck the investigation. He did it. You know what I mean? He he's one, he looks like that. Like in terms of physical appearance, you start talking to him. This guy got jokes. He's like a he's really good, <clears throat> really good guy. And for that, I'm really hoping that, you know, things turn out good for him. Um, I'm going to start a new segment. 